what is up everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm here with my Grammy and she's gonna teach us how to make homemade gnocchi, gnocchi. how gnocchi. do you say it gnocchi gnocchi yeah uh-huh we're gonna make gnocchis so this is my Grammy and she is the master chef in our family so she's gonna show us how she makes her gnocchis Good. so um, you have Oh, two cups of, of, of potato mashed and cold because it'll, it'll work best when they're cold. Uh-huh. So if you set them overnight, it's good. Okay, okay, perfect. And I got my flour and salt and that's about it. Perfect. And yeah. is it like a one-to-one -one ratio? It's, yes, one cup to one cup. Shall we start? Let's start. Okay. So. Cups of potatoes. Yeah, two cup, yeah. They were they were like two medium sized potatoes. So just just about two cups. So I'm gonna add maybe two two and a half cups of flour. Okay, do you just eyeball it? Yeah. Well, I, no, I'll measure it out, but I I do usually just eyeball, really? like you know. But, uh, yeah. I made um. I made sweet potato gnocchis one time. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really good. I've heard a lot of people do different things. Sometimes if I have uh, like butternut squash, oh, you know, I will also add that. Really? To, yeah, and uh, it's really great. You know, you can do do your own thing. Yeah. You know, I'm a little heavy on the salt sometimes, but uh, to me, salt will give you flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So you've got your KitchenAid stand mixer. Yes, I love my KitchenAid. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Oh, okay. I love it. It does so many things, and it works. It makes makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Then uh, I don't have okay. one of those. Oh, I you don't have one? No, I think I have every single other kitchen tool besides. Oh, this I would not be without my KitchenAid. How long do you let go for? Just until it comes together? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it, see how you know, get the potatoes in, and and let them get going. They're starting to mix now. This saves you um, a lot of arm strength. Pardon? Don't you normally have oh, to like yes. knead it? Oh it would be nasty. It would take a lot of kneading. Yeah. yeah. This is great. That's why I say I love my KitchenAid. It does a lot of things. I don't know what I do. That's a very old KitchenAid. Oh, is it? But it works great, and I love it. This is the biggest part of it, actually. I think I'm gonna add just a hair water to that, because like I say, the texture of those potatoes were uh, very, very dry. But you don't want them to get too loose, either. You don't want the dough to get very slow. You want it to be firm. Yes coming better now. Yeah. Oh, it's really coming together now. Yeah. It's been about five minutes, and this is how they're looking. Wow, it's gonna ball up. Yeah, it's gonna get together. It's gonna, it's gonna come together. Yeah. You don't want to overdo it, because the longer you keep it going, too, it'll get softer, you know, because it's gonna... But see how it's getting, it's really coming together. Okay, it's still got a lot of nice texture, so when you're going to roll it, it's going to roll really nice, and it's going to give you a nice firm gnocchi. Uh -huh. And but that's the way some people probably would like them a little looser. But mm -hmm. I like them firm. I like them when they're cooked. I like them for firm. Yeah. Just roll them out. Well, oh, you make it look so easy. It is. It's really not hard. It's very fast. They're very fast and very easy. Yeah. Everybody loves the gnocchis. Mm -hmm. We usually have the ravs on holidays because that's a tradition. Yeah, everybody but, loves your raviolis. But everybody loves the gnocchi too. You know. Who taught you how to make these? I did. My grandma, not my grandma, my aunt. I used to go after school at my aunt's house and she used to make gnocchis and raviolis. Really? Yes. And I would help her. 
you know, she'd do the basic, uh -huh. but I, I would kind of just help her, uh, you know, uh, like cut the gnocchi or uh, pinch the ravioli. <laughs> so I have to say to my grandma, thank, and for my aunt, thank you, Aunt Loretta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to roll out a few, and then I'll cut them once, and then I'll roll some more. And we're just about to the end of it, actually. I roll this one, and we're going to start cutting. I don't like them to be too big. I like them to be a good size. put them on the pan where I'm going to put them in the freezer after mm -hmm. so that they'll uh, harden up and then we can bag them and put them back in the freezer or use them or whatever which whichever way you want to do it. I always like to have some in the freezer you never know when you're going to use them and every once in a while I like to have some myself. <laughs> I like to treat myself. It's calling like yeah. Loves gnocchis. Oh, good. You can have them for supper. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you eat it with tomato sauce or do you eat it with like butter? Oh, uh, no. I use tomato sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I use the tomato sauce. I'm an Italian. <laughs> I love tomato sauce. I always have a pan of sauce in the refrigerator. And I got my rosemary leaves that I love. Italian seasoning, and that's going to be it. I'm going to add the tomato, because that, that's really where your flavor is in, you know, once that's going to be uh, absorbed into your tomato, you're going to have a yummy sauce. Mm. And, I, you know, I can't tell anybody how to make the stuff, because I don't measure, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of just... Eyeball? Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. So, and it's very hard to try to tell anybody. Just because there, there'll be some rosemary and just a dash of salt because there will be salt in it. And we're going to just get it going. I'm just going to cover it a little bit. Just... Okay. That sounds like that's starting to get. So that's where all set. You got you got a supper here now that's ready to. To go. Yeah. So how long do you have to let the sauce cook usually? Uh, I would take it a little bit more, but we've had it what, about 30 minutes now. But it, it's a good, did you want to taste? Sure. Hot now. Is it too hot? Yeah, it's hot stuff. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Really fresh. Good. So we'll, we'll put the uh, gnocchis in. And the gnocchis taste like five minutes? Oh, they won't take long. Once they come up, they're going to sink to the bottom. Once they come up, then they're, they're pretty much done. They'll rise. They're starting to freeze. They're not quite yet, but see, they were starting to. Uh -huh. So once they were frozen good, you could put them in a bag. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, there's two. Oh, wow, that was dangerous. <laughs> Watch out, it's splattering. I don't want you to get burned. This is the hardest part of it all. <laughs> You know, just, just Oh, they're perfect. What? Oh my god, they're so good. So Granny says they're done when they rise to the top. Yep. They don't take very long. So you have to have a nice big pan too so that you know they don't stick together and you know they'll Wow, do they their look so good. Thing. Yeah. We would get the sauce on them. Oh yeah. That's a good part of the big part of them is the sauce. Then they're going to be so good. Yeah, they really are. In the older days, they used to um, put up a little dent in them. With a, they used to have a fork, and they you would 
roll them down on the flop. Oh, yeah. And make a little dent in them. Oh, yeah. But now they do them like this. It's a heck of a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do the rolling with the flock. Wow, I bet that's time consuming. Yeah, it is. They stay better, I think, with, uh, you know, having them like that. Yeah. Okay. One for you and one for me. This looks so great. Yeah. Okay. Should we cheers? Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. See, they I like them a little bit firm. Yeah, I like them firm Not, too. Yeah. Not squishy. Not squishy. They came out perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Mmm. So good. Yeah, I hope Colin's gonna like them. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. Good. Well, thanks for showing everybody how to make your homemade gnocchis. Okay. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe before you go. And let me know what me and Grammy should make next. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> These came out so good. 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 I love how chewy they are.